If you ship a lot of parcels every day, having a streamlined shipping process with as few steps as possible is vital to the success of your business. This will save you time, reduce your overhead costs, and help your customers get their orders as fast as possible. That's why we designed our Pack and Go feature. Not only does it help you print labels faster and cut down on human errors, but it also incorporates the picking and packing process into the whole equation. You don't have to be a logistical mastermind to tap into the maximum amount of efficiency. So, how does it work? There are two ways of using Pack and Go, automatic and scanner mode. Each of these modes works for different types of businesses. You can always switch your mode later in settings if you find you want to try the other one. If you have a smaller warehouse with a limited number of products, you should most likely go for the automatic mode. If you've got a bigger enterprise to run, go for scanner mode. To get started, head to your computer at your packing station, warehouse, or wherever you put together your orders. Open SendCloud and go to the Pack and Go tab. First, define your printing settings, like the printer you're going to use and the size of the labels you'll be printing. Then, decide which kinds of documents you want to use to prepare your orders. You can use either packing slips. The packing slip lists the items in the order and then gets sent right along with the order to the final customer. Instead of packing slips, you could also use a picking list. This list is meant only for internal use. It lists multiple orders at once and tells you which products need to go into those orders. To print your picking list, go to the incoming order view, select the orders you want to process, and click print. But be aware that if you have more than one integration set up, you'll need to select one at a time instead of all integrations at once. Otherwise, the print picking list button won't show up. Both packing slips and picking lists will include barcodes for each order, so you can print the labels for those orders. This will come in handy when you're using scanner mode, but we'll get to that in a minute. First, let's jump into automatic mode. Once you've gone to Pack and Go in the SendCloud panel, depending on your settings, you'll see your first or last imported order on the left-hand side of the screen, along with the shipment information and the products included in that order. If you use shipping rules, the correct shipping method will already be set. If you don't, you can always select the shipping method here, or edit the order and add it there. Now, find out exactly what products need to be shipped, Collect them from your stock and click Process to print the label and the packing slip. After that, the next order will show up instantly so you can continue on without wasting any time. If you prefer, you can also click Process first. Then you'll have the packing slip with you when you collect the products from your stock. If you want to skip an order, click this arrow and the next order will appear without processing the previous one. You can always go back to the skipped order later. In the scanner mode, the flow looks a bit different. Print out your chosen document, collect your products from your stock, and return to your packing station. Now, scan the barcode of the order you want to process. When you scan it once, SendCloud will load the details of the order. When you scan it twice, the order will be processed and your shipping label will be printed.